I got a story about a girl that I'm sure, girl, you can relate to. And no judgment, because I can relate to her as well. Hey, girl, uh, it is Rika. And don't forget, my blog, JustMeRika.com, has a lot more content for you. If you need encouragement, girl, I got you. Consider me your homegirl in your head, okay? So in this video, I do have some tips on how you should be dating, okay? I'm gonna give you those tips after I tell you the story about this girl because this is the girl I don't want you to be. Hmm. And I will tell you the woman that I want you to be, okay? So here we go, here's the story. So I know a girl who went on a second date with a guy that she met on like Bumble or Tinder or something, right? So she went on a second date with this guy and she asked him this question. So where do you see this going? Like, where are we going? <laughs> His answer, I mean, I don't know. Like, we can have chest checkpoints. Like, let's see where we go, you know? Here is the problem. She continued to date that guy. That relationship ended about two or three months in. You know why? Because they wanted different things, okay? So if you're going to be woman enough to ask this question, <laughs> so <clears throat> where are we going, okay? Because here's the underlining question she was asking. This was her intention. So are you serious with me? Because I like you, so what's up, okay? His answer was, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm just out here dating. Like, <laughs> that was the underlining answer. Like, I'm just out here dating. I'm not trying to be serious with you. And so if you're going to be woman enough to ask that question, be woman enough to walk away from a guy who tells you y'all two don't want the same thing. Stop dating men who do not want the same thing that you want, okay? Now, I don't want you to be this girl because on the second date, you should not be asking that question. So here are my five tips on how you should be dating. Okay, let's start with number five. You know, I got my notes. First of all, I need something to drink because I'm getting all. Does anybody like LaCroix, LaCroix, LaCroix? I don't even know what it's called. But I love seltzer water. I'm just plain. Sometimes I put it in my juice. <laughs> all right, so here's the five ways, my tips on how you should be dating. Number five. You should be dating to get to know the guy, okay? What's his integrity? How is he like as a man? If he has kids, is he a good dad? Does he pay his child support? How is his relationship with his baby mama? How is his relationship with his mom? How is his relationship with his dad? How are his financials? Does he have a disease? You should be dating men to see how they are, how they maneuver in this world, not to feed your ego. Oh my God, so I like him, he's so cute. Does he like me, does he like me? In the answers to the questions that you are asking these men while you're dating, you will see if he likes you. But the most important thing you will see is if he is the guy for you. Okay. So that's number five. Number four, don't lower your standards. Okay. So you know me, I tell you to make a list. How do you want to be dating? What do you want your relationship to look like? And what type of guy can give you that relationship? Okay. So she lowered in the story, right? Girl, she lowered her standards when she asked, so are you serious about me? And he said, no. She said, well, I like him, so I'm going to just see where it goes. Going to be seeing where it goes if you want to be serious with somebody. If you're secretly dating this guy, trying to change him and trying to make him be serious about you, it's never going to work out for you that way. Listen to men when they tell you who they are. Men tell us who they are every single day. Okay, so you got to be asking the right questions. So that's number four. Don't lower your standards. Number three, date other people. Okay, you should be dating Tony and Chris and Michael. Hey, Damien, all of that. Okay, you got to be dating other people because you don't want to be wasting your time. Now she's lost two or three months with this dude, the girl on the date. She lost two or three months with this dude, even though he told her, I ain't out here trying to be serious. And she was like, well, I am. <laughs> so we'll see if you change your mind. I do not want you to be that girl. So you should be dating other people. That's number three, which leads me to number two. Don't be having sex with Chris and Hank Damien and John and Tony. What are you having sex with these guys for? You don't even know his credit score. What are you doing? Stop it. Get a toy if you are sexually charged, okay? I'm not. I'm out here celibate, so I'm cool. But if you need to release some energy, girl, they got rabbits and all kinds of toys. You better go to Passions or whatever <laughs> and get that because you should not be having sex with all of these dudes, okay? All right, number one, don't get in your feelings fast. 
that is what we do as women, man. We see that guy, he's so fine and he has a good job and maybe he doesn't have kids. So the guy that I want, he won't be having kids. So maybe he has the three things, right? Good job, he's so fine and he doesn't have kids. And then I'm like, oh my God, I hope he's serious about me, but I don't even know him. Has he ever killed a cat? Like, who is, what's his favorite color? Who is this dude? What is his integrity like? Does he go to church? Does he believe in God? Well, how do you know he really truly believes in God? Because anybody could say, yeah, I believe in God. <laughs> but he ain't really practicing that. And if that's what you want, which is what I want, God-fearing man, how do you even know he's there yet? Because you ain't started asking him real questions to get to know him, girl. Stop dating these guys because you see potential. It is not real. Listen, I don't sell fairy tales. Okay, I sell reality. So get your head out of the sand, figure out what you want in a relationship and do not lower your standards just because you think he's cute. Get what you want out of life. Woo, child. Oh, this dating world be stressing me out, but I know you and you're gonna do better, okay? So cheers to you dating confidently, girl. <laughs>